My name is Elliot from Minnesota, and you're watching The Daily Grind. Hi, guys. Wow. We're going to do something completely different. I know it's Monday, which usually means commentary days, but I need to slow things down, and maybe you guys want to join me. <laughs> my hair is freaking crazy. I haven't shaved. My hair is crazy. Let's set up for something we haven't done in a long time, which is Q&A. Okay, you guys ready? I, I really appreciate you guys joining me with q and A. I I don't even have my phone to look up my, my comments. I'll be right back. So basically, I wanna try something different this week. Usually we have a full commentary, five crazy car laws, but I kinda of wanna go back to our old roots just because everything is so crazy right now and kinda of do a one-on-one -on -one video with you guys and kinda of throughout the week have more daily grinds, more vlogs, just to slow the pace down just a little bit. And it's not that tuna crate's load is too crazy, it's more of logistics that made things just completely nuts. Uh, March Crate, 95% of you guys have received your products, which you guys are freaking happy about. I'm so glad you guys love what you guys got. The April Crates is amazing. So if you guys stay subscribed, props to you guys because like just a quick hint, the air freshener that we had a tree last time for black eyes, this time it's still black eyes, but it's a black diamond. So it's like a die cut diamond shape air freshener. So it's pretty freaking sick. Um, everything is super premium still, so I'm excited about that one. We're not doing the 50% off anymore, but as you guys can see, we'll be doing the 20% off for you guys that wanna join, so don't miss out this one. Are you guys ready to get into some Q&A questions? I know I haven't done this in a while, so I apologize. It's been freaking nuts, but a few weeks ago, I asked you guys to load me up on Instagram with Q&A questions, and bam, let's start off with this. I noticed a trend in my questions lately. There are a lot of them are less about cars and more about life, which are okay. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. But here's a car question, supercharger or turbocharger? I kind of answered that last time. Love superchargers, but I love turbochargers even more because of the boost portion of it. It's just that between the lag and the boost makes it more fun. I know it's not a smart, but it's more fun. And also with the turbocharger, it's better on gas mileage if you guys ever care. My hair is so freaking crazy. Did not shave. My goodness. Oh, this is a good one. If I had $10,000, what mods would you put on your car? $10,000, on my Subaru, if I had $10,000, let's see, I would get a wrap on my car, which will run you about 3,000, so let's kind of do the math here. Let's do the math on here. So we have a wrap. If a wrap is say 3,000, they can range between three and 8,000. So if we do a wrap and we go, Wrap. My handwriting was terrible. $3,000. Right here. $3,000. And I would probably do air suspension. So I do airbags, lack of better words, for groceries. And they run the model that I want specifically is the one where you can control it with your freaking iPhone and you can do like different positions with your, your, your stance and you're on the ground, you're high up, and your ass is up. That one will run about 3,500, I think. About 3,500. We're using round numbers just to make life easy. I'm not good at math, I'm Asian, but I suck. So we're at $3,500. And we have a $10,000 limit for my car. I'm gonna draw my car out. And um, don't make fun of me, but this is this is the car. That's ten thousand dollars. Oh, it's a it's a WRX. So, boom, boom. Just labeled it WRX. Okay, so I'm about six thousand five hundred dollars in. What else can I buy? I want to say that I want new rims for my car, but I have rims. So, whoa, I'm sorry, wheels. You guys call them wheels. This is obnoxious, but people always correct me. Wheels versus rims. I'm a little older and we call them rims. The other guys call them wheels. So F you guys, I really don't care. We're gonna hold off on the rims for now because I already have them. Let's do some performance. So let's do an easy route. 
And let's go, just for general purposes, not to keep make the video too long, let's go with like Cobb uh, Stage 2. What do you guys think? Stage 2 with Cobb. How much is Cobb Stage 2 these days? It looks like it's about 2,700 bucks. 2750. So now we're at 2750 and that little scratch is my corn for corn on the cob. Now if I were to do the math on this, we're at 6100 bucks right now. So let's write this down before I forget. Oh yeah, we're not counting labor costs. So labor costs add like another G to all the insulation and stuff in case you guys don't want to do it yourself, which I would usually do it myself, but I don't have time sucks or the tools anymore. So what else? I've got roughly 3,900 bucks left. What would I do with $3,900? You know what would be really cool is if we do like a front mount for the Subi. I think front mount looks badass. What's kind of funny about this story is back in the day, a lot of people like top mounts and then they switch over to front mounts. And then now that the Subarus have top mounts, they're going back to front mounts. It's like the culture change. They like front mounts. It looks cool, but top mounts because the hood scoop. Weird. So how much are front mount kits these days? And we're doing kit versions just to make this a lot easier. So front mounts from a lot of mainstream websites range between 1300 to 1700 bucks. So let's say it's $1,500 for a front mount kit. This is my front mount kit. You see it? That's a lopsided. Front mount, just looks like a damn radiator. So now, according to this, I'm about $7,600 in. I've got a lot of money left over. What can I do with a full 10,000, huh? Let's see what else. This is a lot harder than I expected. Just I haven't thought about modding my car in a long time. It would be, I know some of you guys are gonna mention braking components. Probably a good idea. Let's see how much those cost. What I'm doing now is I'm looking up some Brembo upgrades for the WRX, just to kind of get see a general pricing. I'm not seeing too much, but I do see a number that says $1,800. That is a lot of money for a brake upgrade, but you can't put a price on safety. It looks pretty good too. So let's say it's about $1,800 for a brake upgrade. Let's say for like the high end good stuff. And I'm assuming there's probably more higher end than that. But well, let's say, we're gonna do brake upgrades. We're gonna say it's $1,800. And that's my poor attempt to draw rotor. Oh wait, I need the little hub in the middle. There we go. Now it just looks like a nipple. Actually, it looks like a guy with a hat on. So let's see, as of right now, we are $9,400 in. And remember, this is like general pricing, kind of just a quick search. So you can find them for a lot less and with probably different components to make it a lot less. So we have about $600 to mess with. So we've got, our vinyl ton, car looks freaking badass. It is bagged now, so it looks super low with a good management system, which means there's still performance. And then we have our cool front mount with a stage two, we could have gone stage three, I guess. Um, now with all that new power, we do need something to stop the car. So we have our brakes. So the car is pretty much well taken care of generally, and what else could we do? Now this is me thinking practically, cause I'm like, Mike, would you ever upgrade your car this much? Is it really practical? And me being me, practicality is very different from me and you guys. And I'm gonna say no, but since the car is fairly decent, and I'm not racing it, I'm not tracking it, I don't need more power. And obviously there's better upgrades you can do than stage two. You can probably do way better for that hefty price tag of 2750 probably upgrade a turbo and all that good stuff, injectors. So there's a bunch of stuff, but you know what? With 600 bucks left, you know, just make the car look even more badass and make it more Instagram worthy. Let's put like a nice little splitter on it and diffuser and side skirt. I'm gonna make the Subaru look super badass and I'm gonna put a freaking rear diffuser on it. That's a rear diffuser right there. A sick, sick side skirt. See, oh, these are the rims, by the way. There's a four spokes. And I'm gonna put a six splitter that sticks all the way out. And don't forget the rods. You cannot forget those rods that go like that. And then don't forget this is a Subi, so we have a little hood scoop right there. And inside is gonna be Asian me, so I have like slanted eyes, like that, and that's me. And then Fat Dong's gonna be standing right here. 
the fat dong. See, that's the fat dong. That's his arm, by the way. Don't think nerdy. And um, that's gonna be good. See, it's bad. So you see how this is the ground and it's so low that it's under the ground. See, this is not perspective. It's actually under the ground. So if this was the ground, it is under it. See, it's so freaking low. See, low life for real. And then on top of that, since we've already spent the, you know, extra 600 bucks on the whole entire kit, let's go ahead and like do some like cheap free stuff and let's add some decals. And of course we need like a sick primal banner with a big ass P right there. And then because this car has all these sick car parts, we're gonna need like all these logos like slapped on right on the fender. And just because we're cool and hip still, let's go ahead and just sticker bomb the shit out of the like back trunk. So here's the trunk right here. Let's sticker bomb the shit out of this, right? And since it's a low life, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the mud flaps on because you never know when you'll be going through muds when you're super low. And because it's still an all wheel drive car and definitely it's a Subi, it's a rally car, we might need a roof rack on there too. So you might as well put a roof rack and because you're cool and a hipster, you need that bicycle on top. So that way everyone knows you're a cyclist, but you own a freaking Subaru. So now that you have a car that's this sick, what do you do? You need to go on the IG and you need to like take really sick pictures of it like that and put your car right in there and then put like a really sick one word caption to kind of describe how you're feeling at the moment and then hashtag the shit out of this picture. So that way you're gonna get like 50 likes and then you can brag to your friends that you've got 50 likes and like a few more followers, like 40. That's pretty sick. So I'm thinking $10,000, you can gain like 40 followers. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, for, for those of you guys who stayed with me all the way to the end of this, Things got really weird pretty quick. So, what am I saying? Um, that was the Q&A. It ran a little longer than I thought, and we had literally answered like three questions or two questions. But I felt like the car segment was kind of fun. Um, I just want to thank you guys again for everything. And since I'm thanking you, we might as well show you the Subi for a little bit, yeah? There's a Subi sitting in the bat cave, and the garage is a mess. And those are my friends. Hi friends. But yeah, hopefully you guys are cool with this week. We're gonna slow things down, no commentaries. We're gonna try to do the uh, vlog style once again. And I should probably do my hair. And also, Tuna Crate, of course, is killing it. Really, really cool, fun things. It's like dropping a new design every month, which is ridiculously hard. Um, if you guys follow my Snapchat, I'll show you guys more of what I'm making. So, uh, really, really, thank you guys. What can I do? Can I give you guys a hug? Virtual hug. And uh, I guess I'm back to doing Tuna Crate right now. All right, guys. If you guys like this video, like it, share it. Let me know. Cool? Look at my freaking hair. It's like split in the middle. Ridiculous. All right, guys. So next time, punch in the face. Later.